Hello, this is Spence, the evil genius from Widget Laboratory. I'm here with your 30-second tip of the day. Our friend Carl Ortenberg writes, How can we create an entertainment tab and put sub-tabs like arcade or gadgets under it? Very easy. Let's start here. First of all, Carl has Media Now, which includes Tab Manager. The first step that we need to do is go into Media Now. We click on the Widget Lab tab. We're going to create a new page called Entertainment. Now once we're here on the admin dashboard, we click on the Media Now. This brings us to our Pages configuration. I'm going to go ahead and create a new page here called Create Page. When I do, I'll call it Entertainment. In this particular case, I can use HTML, PHP, or any other kind of encoding in order to create my tab menu. In this case, I'll keep it simple and just use regular HTML. I've already prepared a little simple menu here using an H1 style sheet reference for the class. I'm going to put in a link here that goes to Arcade. Just for anybody who hasn't seen our previous video, we've created a page and a tab using Media Now called Arcade. We're going to copy the link for this. Going back now to our Media Now page, we can use that link here as a submenu link. I can post in the absolute URL or I can post in the relative URL. The relative URL is just the local URL which is slash arcade but if I wanted to do so I could of course post in the entire thing. Second of all I put a little spacer in here and I'll put a second link in as well. Let's make it something fun like a link to the Ning's main page. Again this is using standard HTML syntax. Let's see what this page will look like. And by the way, I'm going to leave the Ning sidebar alone. If I wanted to remove it, I would click on this option here. When I say save, I now have a new page called Entertainment. We can click on it, see what it looks like. Very nice. I have a horizontal menu, which is actually a sub-menu, where I have a link to the arcade. Or if I wish, I can even have a link to an outside site, like Ning. Couldn't be any easier. Now let's spice it up a bit. What if I wanted to do a vertical menu? Remember, you can use anything you wish inside of Media Now. JavaScript, Flash, Embed Code, iframe, etc. In this particular case, we're going to keep it simple, but yet spice it up a little bit. Let's change this from a horizontal menu to a vertical menu. What we're going to use is an unordered list. Using very quick and simple syntax, I'll put in code here that's going to change this to an unordered vertical list. I'll just copy this link here. And again, I'm doing this all live. Just to show you how fast it can be. And lastly, I'll come down here and take this link as well. For an unordered list, use the simple LI for each list item and then close it at the end and that should create for us a vertical list now if I want to make it nice and big and bold I'm going to put in the H1 class as a style let's check it out And now we've got this big, bright, bold, and beautiful unordered list with bullets, Arcade and Ning. And once again, each one of those goes to a particular page that's been created using Media Now and Tab Manager. You'll notice that the Arcade menu comes up and the Arcade tab is highlighted. Yet, if I want to, I can go to an outside site such as Ning and it'll take me wherever I want to go. Now, if I really want to make this interesting, let's do one last step. What if I wanted to open the Ning le uh, link but I want it to open in a new window or a new page. Well, that's pretty easy. All I need to do is go in here and where the Ning is, I can change the target. Instead of it being nothing, I'm going to say target equals new. Let's see what that does. Click save. Go ahead and click here. Now watch what happens. The magic, when I click on Ning, it opens in a new window. Ladies and gentlemen, that's your 30 second demonstration of how to create an entertainment tab and put sub tabs on it using media now and tab manager from widget laboratory